Hi, this is Colt, and in this video I'd like to explain Vehicle Spy's new Gateway Builder. With the Gateway Builder, our customers can create custom gateways, do injection testing or spoofing of PDUs, including AutoZar protected PDUs on CAN, LAN, and Ethernet networks. In this example, we're going to use a CAN network with four ECUs, and we're going to spoof or inject faults on two PDUs for ECU4. To do this, we have to break the CAN network and insert hardware. This hardware can be Neovite Fire 2, Value CAN 4, RAD Galaxy, RAD Gigastar, and many other hardware from Intrepid. So we're going to gateway all messages in one direction from the HS CAN 2 network on this hardware to HS CAN, and then all messages in the other direction from HS CAN to HS CAN 2 with the exception of two PDUs that we're going to modify. So let's get started. So here we are in Vehicle Spy, and the first step is to create a platform with our CAN database that we're going to use. We'll call the platform Gateway, Gateway Demo, and then we will add our CAN database to The HS CAN network and the HS CAN 2 network. Save our platform changes, then go to Embedded Tools, and then Gateway Builder. So here is the Gateway Builder. On the left side, we have our input network. On the right side, we have our output network. So we're going to make our input network HS CAN as it is now, and our output network HS CAN 2. And then We'll say gateway entire network. This will gateway all messages from HS CAN to HS CAN 2. Then we're going to swap the two networks, make our input network HS CAN 2, make our output network HS CAN, and do the same thing. Say gateway entire network. This will gateway all messages from HS CAN 2 to HS CAN. Next, we're going to switch the networks back again. Have our input network be HS CAN, our output network be HS CAN 2. And then we're going to set up some exclusions. So what we want to do is sort by ECUs in this case. And then we are going to open up ECU1 and we're going to modify the PDU gear PLSB and gear BELN. So for this we have to set up an exclusion and we have to exclude this message from the gateway. So what this will do is this will gateway all messages from HS CAN to HS CAN 2 except for what's in the exclusion list. And then we'll take our signals or PDUs and drag them over as well. So what this will do is take these signals and gateway them from HS CAN to HS CAN 2 just like we had before. But now we can select the signals and modify them as they pass through the gateway with expressions uh, or equations and so forth. So for the signal ACT WHDR, we're just going to forward that message as it as is the default to HS CAN 2. So that will leave that one unmodified. But these two, we will turn on an expression, and we'll just modify them to a constant value. We'll fix this one at 5, and we'll fix this one at 3. And there you have it. That's our example. That's how easy it is to set up a gateway. The next step would be to, say, generate Core Mini. And now we can download this directly into the hardware. And it should be understood that this gateway works embedded inside of the hardware. That means you can run the hardware with no PC attached and the gateway functions in real time. So I'll send this down. So now let's monitor the networks and see what we've done. I'll close this and then I'm going to disable this network, this gateway, because it, the gateway will also run on the PC, but we want to, uh, for this demonstration, we want to show how it runs inside of the hardware. Then we'll just go online, run with transmit on our value can, 
go to the messages view and you'll see our gateway in action. So you'll see that all messages are copied from the HSCAN network to HSCAN2 and the messages from ECU4 are copied from HSCAN2 on the receive side to the HSCAN network uh, on the transmit side. And if we look at the specific message that we are modifying, we can open this up and look at the signals. You'll see that on HSCAN, the signal values are changing. But on HSCAN2, on the transmit side, we've modified the signal values through the gateway to be our fixed values. And that's our simple example. Of course, we can expand this example to include not only just forwarding uh, signals or PDUs, but we can map signals and PDUs to a different PDU on the output network. But that'll be a topic of a different video. We hope you find this video informative, and if you want to know more, you can look us up on the internet at intrepidcs.com, and our contact information is right on the top. Thank you for your time.